Welcome to another video tutorial. And in this video, we're going to be learning about the demand and supply zones under the market structure. And this is our second video under the market structure concepts. This tutorial is brought to you by Pipsyc X, and our WhatsApp number is plus two three four eight zero five five three six nine six one five. And I, Investor Tio, will be your host for today. So let's get started. Now, with that said. This is our demand and supply zone we're going to be working on in today's video. So before we proceed, you need to understand fully that a demand zone is a zone for buying, while a supply zone is a zone for selling. So I'm going to draw out, all right, with our part soon, so you can understand. Yes, yeah, so we'll go into the charts sooner than later, but I want you to understand the concept first of how these concepts work. All right, so remember I said demand zone is a concept for buying, while a supply zone is a concept for selling. So let me take care of this and I'll be explaining how you get your demand and supply zone shortly. I won't follow us on X, do what follow us on X. We have our trades on X already that breaks down this in write-up format so I can understand how it plays out. All right. This is our demand and supply zones we're going to be working out in this video. If you're a trader, which I know you definitely want to become or you're already a trader, you need to understand fully that the demand zone is where you buy from and a supply zone is where you sell from all right so to make this really really clear you need to understand that where you spot a demand zone is mailing in an uptrend all right in an uptrend you spot a demand zone in an uptrend and if you spot a demand zone in an uptrend it means definitely you're going to be spotting your supply zone in a downtrend all right so these are demand i'm going to teach you the analogy or i'm going to teach you the psychology behind this okay so you can just understand Right, so stay with me. And these are supply. Supply. Yes. These are supply. Let me put this on top because of the space. And this is demand. Now, why is this a demand zone? Because number one is finding an uptrend. And this demand is what tells you that yes, this is where our point of interest for buyers will be in. All right. So this can be determined by an other block initially. Whether a breaker block or the likes, let me not talk about that now. That's going to be in future videos later on in market structure. We just need to understand for whether a demand zone is where many people tend to buy. People tend to buy because of predetermined psychology around those levels. Right now, depending on what is around this level, some people know that oh, once we get here, many people want to buy, and this is a good region to enter a buy trade. I usually find an uptrend, and this is why it's called a demand zone. For supply zone, you need to know the same thing but flipped, right? Supply zone is where many people tend to sell, right? A lot of people want to sell at this zone. Why? Most likely because of something they've seen over here in the past, a breaker block, another block, or anything in the market, even if a value gap or Fibonacci retracement tool can show you that, oh, this is zone many people want to sell or buy, right? And this is how you can still know a supply zone. So let me just put demand. Let me make it demand zone. So I don't um, just leave it as just demand. Demand zone. Yes, so I can have the zone. It's not just one line. Some people want to use lines, but it's a zone. It's around this region. It's not necessarily price, uh, a certain price. I mean, on BTC USD, I don't certainly a certain price. It can just be a zone. All right. Why this supply zone? Zone. And you should know that it's around this region. Not necessarily a price. Although some people look for snipers and the likes. We'll talk about that in future videos. But yes, we're dealing with a zone in this concept. So I believe you understand this simple analogy for a demand zone and a supply zone. And I definitely don't even need to expand it too much because it's very, very easy. But one thing I need to let you know before I leave this video is that this demand zone here is what causes price to even break this structure. All right. I'm talking about that in future videos, but yes, it's what causes price to break this structure. Ah, blue. I don't want blue in my video when it's not necessarily this kind of shade. So I'm taking it to this color. Let's see. Let's take it to black. Yes. So yes, but it's too bold. It's too bold. One X. Cool. So yeah, this is this big structure is sponsored by this demand zone. All right. Because this is where many buy orders were found that push the market to break the structure. We're talking about this in future videos. So I don't confuse you. All right. So yeah, this is supplies and this is cell region. And this cell region is what led to this break of structure. Understand? So this break of structure is sponsored by this supply zone. So don't spend too much time explaining just supply and demand. 
I believe I'll be able to teach you this concept in this video. This is market structure two. And in tomorrow's video, I'm breaking down on that concept under the market structure. We're we'll going to structure and structure. We're yet people say things like um, structure of structures. All right. That's what we're dealing with structures and substructure in tomorrow's video. So if I want to subscribe to this community, definitely do it to subscribe. This is Peepsack X, and you can contact us on WhatsApp for more trade information at plus two three four eight zero five five three six nine six one five. And yes, do it to share this video with others. Right, let them learn to for free on our communities. Right, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Peace.